Today's video is the only Proton VPN tutorial and review you'll ever need. From a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the app to revealing all the features it has to offer, this video is packed, even including topics other reviews forget to mention. So let's get started. All right, the first step in this Proton VPN tutorial is to get a personal account, then download and install the application. There are a couple of plans to choose from, and even a free, albeit quite limited option. I'll expand more on that later in the video. But if you want to make any one of these subscriptions even cheaper, I'm going to leave an exclusive discount link in the description and a QR code on screen. Once you've picked a plan, downloading and installing from the Proton VPN website is very straightforward and only requires clicking a few next and agree buttons. See that? Super easy. The next step in this Proton VPN guide is simply to open the app on your desktop. As you can see, the dashboard is well organized and easy to navigate, so even beginners can easily figure out how to use the features. The main thing you'll be using, though, is the server list. From here, you can scroll through all the available servers and locations. Once you've found your preferred one, you only need to click it, then push the Connect button. Now your IP address appears to be located in the country you selected and your entire internet traffic is encrypted and protected. If you'd like to try out some different servers, then you can switch between them by repeating that process on whichever ones you'd like. Remember, there are more than 4,800 to choose from in 91 countries, so you've got plenty of options to play around with. The Proton app is available for all major operating systems, but I found that Windows offered the most variety in terms of features and settings. Other than that, the desktop apps have a nearly identical appearance and are all user-friendly. Plus, I really appreciate that even the mobile apps come with a server map, which is a much more comfortable way to search through server options, and not many VPNs on the market offer it. If you'd like to get this app for your mobile phone as well, or any device for that matter, then my discount link will be in the description waiting for you. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you how to use Proton VPN's additional features. The first one being a super useful ad blocker, NetShield. This feature really boosts your security and online comfort, as it not only blocks annoying ads and pop-ups, but also prevents trackers from collecting information about your browsing habits. Those are the reasons you see so many personalized advertisements everywhere, by the way. Additionally, NetShield keeps you safe by blocking malware and keeping phishing sites at bay though I did notice that a few YouTube ads managed to trickle through, so it's likely not as effective as a full-fledged ad blocker. Now, these next two features in my Proton VPN review are both going to add an extra layer of security to your online presence. Security Core is actually a double VPN tool. Your network goes through not one, but two servers. What's more, one of those servers is directly owned by Proton VPN and located in a country with strong privacy protection laws. That pairs really well with the backup insurance that the Kill Switch offers. This feature will cut the connection with your network entirely if it ever notices any instability within the VPN. So there's absolutely 0% chance that you'll be connected to the internet without the security of a VPN behind you. And while Proton VPN has some great features for your safekeeping, some are designed to simply increase your comfort during daily use. If you navigate to the Profiles tab, you can search in detail for a specific kind of server and then save it for future use. You can customize everything from the protocol to country and server type. I found that this is really helpful to use while accessing streaming services or torrenting, so I don't have to manually find an optimal server option each time. Similarly, the Quick Connect button allows users to specify the country and server type they prefer. This is a great option if you don't have time to try out multiple servers before deciding. Again, you can create a profile, then go to settings and change the Quick Connect function. The Proton app also includes a couple features that allow you to customize your VPN experience to your needs. The split tunneling is a quick and easy way to whitelist which apps and site IPs you'd like the VPN to avoid routing through. I personally use this if, say, I wanna watch some foreign streaming content, while simultaneously browsing through my local Amazon site. And I really appreciate that the alternate routing feature works automatically to combat censorship. If the app does detect censorship blockages on a connection, it'll continue trying out alternatives until an ideal match is found. All of that works by default, so users can have an optimal online experience without lifting a finger. And if you're really looking to enhance your experience, the VPN Accelerator is an excellent tool. Enabling this toggle allows the app to reduce network congestion and latency, meaning that speed rates will be even faster. Speaking of that, just how fast is the app when it comes to speed rates? Well, my Proton VPN speed test showed some consistent and smooth results that rank up there very closely with other market leaders like IPVanish and ExpressVPN. Even in locations across the globe, such as the UK and Japan, 
rates remain speedy and lag free. So just what are you able to do with those fast speeds? One of the most popular ways to utilize a VPN is to access foreign streaming content that may not be available in your local area. Proton was successfully able to access all these major platforms, and because there were servers in 91 countries, I had more than enough new series to binge. Likewise, since Proton has P2P servers, I was able to download torrents without issues. Plus, this company is based in Switzerland, which does not prohibit torrenting. By the way, I know this Proton VPN tutorial has a lot of information crammed into it, but all subscriptions come with access to their support center. If you ever have a question about how things work, feel free to use their live chat, email contact, or guide articles that are listed right on their website. With all that said, how much will a plan with Proton cost? The longest plan works out to be the most affordable option overall. And while there technically is a Proton VPN free option available, it's extremely limited and offers significantly less than the paid alternatives. So just remember that I've left a discount link in the description below, as well as on screen. This works on all the plans so you can get the protection you need at a cheaper price. I'm not sponsored by any providers. I just want to make sure everyone gets the cyber protection we all deserve. All right, I'll sum up my Proton VPN tutorial and review by saying that this app is great for both beginner and advanced users alike. The dashboard is intuitive and easy to navigate with all the security and useful features I'd expect from a quality VPN. Whether you're looking to expand your streaming options or simply just secure your device and private data, this app covers all the basics. I've got a deal for you on screen now. And if you'd like to watch more content like this, then click on this video here as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you next time.